Hey folks, Cliff and Dave here. Today we'd like to talk a bit about your duct system. In particular, leaking ducts. Everybody has leaking ducts that need to be sealed. Dave, why is it that even new homes have leaking ducts? Not enough attention paid to the details of sealing them. It's not required by code, so they don't get taken care of initially. And it's also a problem with older homes. Over time, they, they leak even more, don't they? Exactly. You have the cable guy in your attic. Not blaming him, but somebody's been in the attic. So you had the initial duct leakage that you had when it was built, and now you get a little damage and it gets worse and worse. And I think one important concept to understand about leaking ducts is we measure airflow by CFMs, which is cubic foot per minute of air volume. What's the typical amount of airflow that a house needs? Well, a three-ton unit would be around 1,200 CFMs. And Dave, give people an idea. We notice that a lot of homes have maybe 10%, even 20% duct leakage. Give the folks an idea of just how much air that is leaking. Well, if you had a three-ton system and 1,200 CFMs, that would be 120 at 10%. And 10% is usually the number or greater. And a CFM is that cubic foot per minute of air CFM equals about what a basketball holds. So if you have 120 CFM of leakage, that's 120 basketballs full of air every minute, either going into your attic through, out of the supply ducts or being pulled back into your home through the return ducts. Folks, you're not, even, not only losing 120 basketballs of air, you're gaining 120 basketballs of bad air. Exactly. And explain the difference between, now, a duct system has a supply side and a return side. And if you have a supply leak, that means it sucks in air, the nasty air. You, have, you have the blower in your home that circulates the air, whether it's the air handler, the furnace, whatever. And the air in and the air out of that blower are always going to be equal. So if it blows out 1,200 basketballs full of air and 120 of them stay in the attic, it's looking for them and it's going to find them from somewhere. It's going to suck them in from the attic, from under the house, from around the walls, out of the garage, wherever it can find it because the air is always going to be equal. So that lost air gets pulled into your house, 120 basketballs every minute of hot, humid, dirty air. And as you can imagine, that's going to increase your cost of running your air conditioner. Dave, what's one of the best ways of homeowner, what's one of the best things a homeowner can do to seal their ducts? Well, really the only way is AeroSeal. And AeroSeal, you can find uh, AeroSeal.com, www.AeroSeal.com. You can, you can learn all about it. But the simple explanation is it's fix a flat that you would use on a tire for your duct system. The, the duct system is sealed off. All your grills are removed, sealed tight. They hook up the machine, and it injects sealant that finds infinitesimally small holes holes that if somebody could crawl around in your attic all day they couldn't find these tiny holes and the tiny holes are part of the duct leakage I'm telling you folks it is a wonderful product I've had it done on my home and got my ducts sealed down to 1% now how cool is that now if you've got any questions or comments please post them below you've been chilling with Cliff and Dave Now how cool is that?